Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding customer revenue in March, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions in each of them. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and this question has been asked in Meta or Facebook interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, calculate the total revenue for each customer in March of 2019, Include only those customers who were active in March of 2019. Output the revenue along with the customer ID and sort the results based on the revenue in descending order. Okay, so basically we are given a data frame called orders and our expected output is also a pandas data frame. Let's look at how the expected output looked like. So different customer IDs and revenues and in decreasing manner of revenue. Okay, uh, let's preview this orders table, what all it has. So it has customer ID, different order dates, the details and the total order cost. Okay, so to do this, what we need to do is first thing that we should do is we should, you know, convert this order date into a string format to only have year, month and days because so that we can use Boolean indexing on this order date column to include only those rows where the order date is between 1st of March 2019 and 31st of March 2019 because that is what the question says, right? So what we can do is from this orders table, right, we can, you know, try to make sure that the order date is in a format that we can use to do Boolean indexing, right? So what we can do is orders table, then order date column, right? So order date column is equal to basically orders table right and order date column and then we can use the string from time method of date time right and try to only keep the year month and dates of the order date right so we can use date time since string from time strf time is a method of date time so that is why we need to write date time dot strf time and then we should give the format of the date that we want right so percentage capital y for year dash percentage small m for month dash percentage small d for day okay let me you know uh, let's see if we are getting what we are desiring right so orders table uh, let me run this okay so now we have the order date in the way that we want then what we can do is we can apply boolean indexing that is we can only keep those rows where the order date is between 1st of March 2019 to 31st of March 2019. So orders and then we can say that orders and of the column order date, right, is between, so dot between method and then you can give the two dates. So 2019, 301, so 1st of March and then 2019, 03, 31st, right. So it will return a list of true false values and when it is passed as a filter to orders, it will only keep those rows where the values returned were true, right? So if I let me go ahead and run this, so what happens is you only have all the rows where the dates are between 1st of March 2019 to 31st of March 2019. So once we have this, then what do we need to do is for each of the customer, we need to find out the total revenue, right? So for each of the customer, what should we do? We can group by the customer ID and then sum the total order cost. So if I write dot group by which column? customer id and then in the column total order cost and then sum the values right so right now we will be having for each of the customer id the total revenue right however since we grouped by so this will be the index right now so to get that as a column we need to write dot reset index right now let me run this let's see what we are getting Okay, so for different customer IDs, we have the different uh, revenues, right? And it is since still aliased as total order cost, then we can rename the column, right? So what we can do is we can write dot rename. What do we want to rename? Columns, right? And then we can supply the key value pairs or basically the old name. So total order cost is the name currently and we want to change it to revenue, right? 
let me run this let's see if there was a change so yeah we have a change and now finally we need to sort the results based on revenue in descending order so we can write dot sort values and then by which column revenue right and in a descending manner so we write ascending is equal to false okay let's run this okay so we have the output that is exactly same as the expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and so yeah this is how we do this in python now let's look at how the corresponding code will look like in mysql okay so again same question nothing much expected output is again the same right and if you preview the table uh, orders it is again the same thing so here what we can do is from this table called orders we only need to keep the dates between 1st of march 2019 and 31st of march 2019 right so now here if you look at it the orders table has the date in that format only right so you don't need to convert the format had it been in the same format as the orders data frame that we did in python then we need to do a similar stuff right so we can here directly write so from orders only keep those rows where your order date is between 2019 march 1st and right 2019 march 31st right once you have this then you can write group by the customer id right group by the customer id we can return customer id and also sum the total order cost right so total order cost and if you look at the expected output the column should be aliased as revenue right so we write as revenue right and then what do we need to do we need to sort the result based on revenue in descending manner so we write order by revenue in descending manner so yeah i think this should do it let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting so yeah out our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep, everything is green and that is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we had to do was firstly make sure that the rows that we are including is between the 1st of march 2019 and 31st of march 2019 if your table or data frame is in the way or in the format the you want then you don't need to change anything but as we saw in python that the data frame orders was in a date time format and we only need year month and date right to apply that between uh, method so we converted that and once we had that then we grouped by the customer id calculated the total order cost i list this as a revenue in python we changed the name of the column right and then ordered by revenue in decreasing manner so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video